Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and today I'm talking about what to look for in protein powders and if you're a woman over 40, do you actually need to have a protein powder and my favorite brands of protein powder. So people come to me, women come to me um, who are over 40 who are really done with diets and ready to ditch that diet mentality, ready to get off the diet yo-yo roller coaster and really get lasting results. I don't use gimmicks. I don't use diets. Um, it's a lot has to do with the person. And um, so basically my programs really kind of focus in on you as an individual and we go from there. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, head over to shapeitupfitness.com. All right, so let's dive into the topic. So Ladies, if you are over 40, do you need to have a protein shake every day? I don't think you do, unless your goal is to build more muscle, which I am all for. Now, when I say build more muscle, that does not mean that you look like you have, you know, no neck and big arms. There's nothing wrong with that look, but a lot of women still want to look very feminine and have just little bit tighter muscles and you know and when you get over 40 you just want to feel good in your own skin so yes I think muscle building is important and in order for you to build muscle you need to have protein in your meals you also need to be doing the correct program in order to build muscle so that's where I come in so if you want help putting together a personalized program head to shapeitupfitness.com and you can check that out um, if you are just looking for a more healthier lifestyle and you don't necessarily want any more muscle, um, one, I would urge you to rethink that because as you get older, we need to have more muscle in order to do the things that we want to do. But if you just want to um, not really be muscular, I don't think you really need to have a lot of extra protein in your diets. Again, this is individualized, so everybody's very different as to what their needs are and also personal preferences, whether you like to eat to the taste of it or, you know, or not. Um, so here are the things that I like to look for in a protein powder for my shakes. I do take protein in. Um, I am also training for a contest, so that is why I'm trying to get enough protein in. Would I drink protein shakes if I wasn't doing this contest? Probably, and it's because... I enjoy the taste. Um, they're quick and easy to do. With that said, we're not doing a shake, shake, and a healthy meal at dinner. I do not subscribe to that. I, at max, will have two shakes, and that's really pushing it. I have one protein powder um, combination. I don't even want to call it a shake because the way I make it, and I'll have to do a separate video on this, but it tastes like ice cream. It is so delicious that to me, that's my like treat for each day. Um, and it's a very healthy shake, but it, it actually is like eating ice cream. Um, so I'll have to save that for another video. If you want to see that, put that in the comment section. If you want that recipe, say, yes, I want the recipe, um, for the shake, the ice cream shake, and I will definitely make a video about it. So the, the things that I look for in a protein shake is number one, when you look at the nutritional label and the ingredients, you have to be able to pronounce and know exactly what is in that product. If you can't pronounce it, you need to put it back on the shelf. There are a lot of protein powders. The supplement business is big money. Lots and lots of different products, um, lots of products to choose from, and it can be very confusing. But if you can stick to the ingredients that you can pronounce, you're definitely way ahead of the game. At the end of the video, I am going to give you some of my favorites that I like to use. So hang in there till the end of the video and you can watch those. So number one, you definitely have to be able to pronounce the ingredients and know what they are, or at least have a really good idea of what they are. Number two is how much sugar is in the protein powder. Now, a lot of times they will drop the sugar amount, but they'll put in like Splenda or some other kind of sweetener in there. I would rather opt for a real sugar 
Um, so like monk fruit, even stevia, I'm kind of, it depends because stevia in itself is a good sugar substitute, but I think here in America, it's been so, um, mass produced and broken down that it's really processed. So I don't think it's as true stevia as it could be. Um, so I don't mind having real sugar, cane sugar, organic sugar, um, I don't know if you can hear my dog playing in the background. Um, <laughs> a monk fruit is another one. That's a good option. So I do try to keep the sugars low on whenever I'm looking at a protein shake. Um, number three, protein carb ratio. So again, depending on what you're using your protein shake for. So a lot of times, um, I don't really eat oatmeal so much anymore just because um, I'm having digestive issues, but <laughs> I sometimes will put, we used to put protein in my oatmeal. Um, it's a quick and easy breakfast. So if I'm having oatmeal and protein powder in the same thing, I want to get a protein powder that is low in carbs because I'm having the carbs in the oatmeal. I tend to mix my proteins with some sort of carb. Like I very rarely do I just do a shake by itself. There's always something either in it or with it. Um, the reason for that is because protein shakes are, are already kind of broken down. So when you're having liquid items, it's already broken down. So your body doesn't have to work that hard to break it down in your body and um, digest it. So for me personally, when I drink a protein shake just by itself, like, you know, almond milk and the shake, um, it goes through me very quickly. Like I, I need more substance in that. So like I said, I used to do oatmeal. Um, uh, sometimes I even do like pumpkin um, or sweet potato, something like that, just to kind of give it a little more bulk in the, in the shake. Number four is very important. You have to make sure your protein shake tastes good. I remember um, having a protein shake a long time ago at a very popular um, place that sells supplements. This is a long time ago. I'm talking like the 90s, just so you see how old I am. But <laughs> um, and I don't even know why I got it because I really wasn't into fitness at that time. But um, it was disgusting. It was really nasty. So what I always like to do is go to um, like vitamin shop or even Target, depending on where you are in the United States, or see if you can go on Amazon and get a small packet, like a sample of the protein, and just try, just get one packet and try it out. Um, that way you're not wasting money on this huge jar of powder that you may or may not like. So that's an extra little bonus tip there. So you gotta make sure it tastes good. Um, number five, does it mix well? If I'm in a rush, I want a protein powder that I can just throw in almond milk, stir it up or shake it up and then go. Um, so it has to be able to mix well. It has to be able to like not have clumps of powder. So that's another thing you wanna look for. Again, it's trial and error as well. Um, it also depends on how you mix it. So a lot of times I will take a little hand whisk and whisk it a certain way to mix better than like, um, like I love the blender bottles with the, the wire ball in there and you can shake them up. That's good too. But um, in particular, one of the protein powders that I'm going to show you, it doesn't mix very well like that. So again, that's like a trial and error type thing. The other thing, not just only having a straight protein shake, meaning water or liquid and your protein shake. But I like to add it in all kinds of foods. Like I said earlier, um, I used to make protein muffins um, and put the powder in it, a lot of like oatmeals and protein powder, um, that kind of thing. Again, I don't want you to think that you should be eating protein powder all day long. This is like one serving of protein powder per day. But you can bake with protein powder. You can do lots of things. You can make cookies with protein powder. Um, all kinds of things. So it has to be able to mix well. Number six is how portable is the protein powder. Now this goes back to, you know, if it's mixable and quick and I can take it with me, perfect. If it requires me to like keep it frozen or whatever cold, you know, other than like a little ice pack thing, then I may not go with it. So those are my stipulations for what I look for in a protein powder. So number one, 
very important that you can pronounce all the ingredients. Two, how much sugar is in it and what type of sugar is in it. Number three, protein carb ratio. Again, I try to keep the carb end a little bit lower because I'm adding in carbs with my protein powder. Number four, really important, does it taste good? Because if it doesn't taste good, you're not gonna you're not gonna use it. Number five, does it mix well? Does it blend up really well? Um, and is it doable in just liquid and it is also bakeable, that kind of thing. Number six, how portable is it? How much, how quick is it to like grab and go? Because that really is the bottom line about supplements. I don't think anybody needs a supplement. Again, unless you're doing like highly competitive fitness stuff, um, which most people aren't. But um, so I lost my train of thought completely. <laughs> but you don't, you don't need to, um, I have no idea what I was going to so we're going to go back to that. I'm sure I'll remember it. This is what happens when you're over 40 and you forget things. So, all right. So moving on, um, these are the brands that I like. So I'm going to go to least two favorites. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you them. And because I'm on my phone, I will flip the phone around so you can actually see the wording on the package and um, you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So my number four brand that I like is Bob's Red Mill. I like Bob's Red Mill mostly because they're very nice ingredients. Um, so also keep in mind the ingredient, the protein powders that I'm going to show you are all dairy free because I am dairy free. You can go with whey protein powders is totally fine, but um, the ones I'm showing you are dairy free. Okay. So Bob's Red Mill has a great one. Uh, vanilla protein powder. They have a couple different, um, like I said, I'm going to flip this around so you can actually see the titles of the stuff. Side note, I am not affiliated with any of these companies. I do not get a kickback from any of these companies or anything. Just sharing them with you because these are the things that I use and I like, okay? So Bob's Red Mill um, is an option. The next one is Ollie. And Ollie is really good and I love giving it to the kids if they want it. My kids don't have protein shakes too often. But if they do, or if I want to add in something to them just to get them a little protein, um, I go with Ollie. Um, I love, love this one for on the go. So like this morning, I was on the go. We ha I had training clients this morning and then, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, training clients this morning, had to run out the door. My son started his high school team soccer off with a bang, so we had a run, and it was very hot here in T New Jersey. I was, I don't, I'm always cold, and it was super, super hot out today. So, grab and go, protein shake. Again, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can actually read these. Evolve, um, again, it's a plant-based um, shake, but I love it. I put them in the fridge, and even if I forget to put them in the fridge, they still taste good. I love the almond flavor. Um, I just shake it up and go, and I put it in with a, um, a freezer, block a freezer thing to keep it cool. Um, just to step back a little bit, the Ollie, um, I, I don't like chocolate, really. I mean, I like, I'll have chocolate chip cookies every now and then, but they have to be like a cookie with like no chocolate chips in them. I know I'm weird. But so again, you won't see any chocolate versions. So all you vanilla girls out there and strawberry girls that you like, you don't like chocolate, this is a video for you. So <laughs> Ollie, I like the strawberry flavor. Um, the vanilla, I like Bob's Red Mill vanilla and this is my favorite um, protein powder and just it's very similar to shape it up it's called tone it up and I get this at Target I believe you can get it online to it tone it up but um, this is my absolute favorite it's delicious I love the way it mixes it is a little thicker than most protein powders so I have a like certain kind of technique that I do to mix it I can share that with you. If you want that in another video, comment below. You want to learn how to mix. Um, and I will get that out for you too. So I am going to try and flip around the camera. So the movie, the movie, <laughs> the video is going to pause for a second. And I'll flip it around so you can actually see the names of the products. Okay, so they're not backwards. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is probably better. 
Um, so again, we have Bob's Red Mill Vanilla Protein. Uh, I This one, I don't use it too often. I My kids use it sometimes. Um, but this one's my fourth favorite, I guess you could say. Ollie, I like. I like the strawberry. Strawberry's really good for a change um, for me. Again, I am not affiliated with any of these brands. So that's Ollie. Comes in a pretty big jar. Uh, you know what I love about the Ollie one? Look at this. Check this out. Look at that. The scoop's right there in the lid. So you don't have to go hunting for it in the protein powder. So that's pretty awesome. My third favorite, my to-go thing that I love to grab and go is toasted almond. And that is Evolve. I believe Muscle Milk makes this brand. Um, this is again a pea protein, a plant-based protein company, or sorry, product. Um, this is what I grab and go when I go to shop soccer. And there are more sugars in this one. So this one has six grams of sugar. There you can see, yeah, six, six grams of sugar. Um, this has stevia in it, okay? But again, I love this because I can just grab and go, okay? So you, sometimes you gotta compromise. This is my absolute favorite. I love Tone It Up Protein Powder. It is vanilla. Again, I am not affiliated with any of these people. But if you wanna remember this brand, just remember Shape It Up is very similar to Tone It Up. Um, I love that it's non-GMO, there's no gluten. All these, I think, as far as I know, are gluten-free as well. So they are dairy-free and gluten-free. And this one I love, because look at these ingredients. There's like protein blend, which is pea protein, organic pumpkin, seed protein, natural flavors, guar gum, monk fruit, and sea salt. That's it. That is it. Again, if you want to learn how I, my little technique for making sure that this toned it up stuff mixes well with just almond milk, put it in the comment section. I'm going to flip the camera around. Hold on one second. Okay, so hopefully you saw that and it recorded. Um, if you want to know how I mix my tone it up in a cup with just almond milk, put that in the comment section. If you want to know my secret protein powder ice cream that I, I literally die for every day, I would totally skip like regular ice cream. Not that I can have a regular ice cream anywhere, but I would totally skip regular ice cream just for my protein um, ice cream thing that I make. It's delicious. So, and it's all dairy free. Um, so that is my favorite brands and how I pick my protein powders. So I hope that was really helpful. And if you have any questions, you can also put them in the comment section. Um, if you want to learn more about how Shape It Up can help you, I am the only trainer there. So if you do work with me, you are working with me. You're not getting handed down to another trainer. Um, I really dive into what my clients need and what they need to do in order to get the results they want to get. And it's not scary or um, like intense. I basically work with what what steps you want to take. So I, I design your program off of what you need at that time. All right. So if you want to check that out, go to shapeitupfitness.com and you can request a free phone consult with me. Um, and we can chat. All right. So that is all for me today. I think this was a long one. I don't know how long this has been, but hope that was helpful and I will talk to you soon. All right. Have a wonderful evening and stay cool if you're in South Jersey. Okay. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.